Hi guys, good morning. How are you? Good, I'm doing good too. And do you know what day is today? Yes, it's Friday, yay, finally. Today is the last day for us to work. Now, um, we're going to start with mental calculation. Yes, I know that you don't love it, but we're going to start with that. Okay, so I was remembering that we don't pass list on, at this week. So I'm going to pass list today, and then we're going to do our calculation, okay? Just give me a second to grab my list. Okay. Maria Jose, Carlos, Camila Bejarano, Camila Burgos, Paola, Roberta, Francisco, Daniela, Alexandra, Brianna, Valentina, Natalia, Edgar. They are playing. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I was on Valentina, Natalia, Edgar, Lailen, Diego, Bruno, Alberto, Julio, Emiliano, Osvaldo, Yaretsi, Armando, Mauricio, Jedrek, Nicole, Lilibet, Juliana, Renata, René, Camila Sánchez, and Paulo, and bingo. <laughs> okay, guys, um, let's go to our mental calculation from today. Okay, I will give you the answers on Monday. Give me a second. Just give me a second. No, we are not. Working on that, give me a second. Okay, there you go. Um, what kind of operation do you think you're going we are going to do? Additions, multiplications, divisions, <clears throat> subtractions. What kind of operations do you think we're going to do? Well, let's see. Additions, we are starting with additions. And the first addition is 393 plus 404. Remember that you must answer with your mind, okay? Don't do any trick. Number two. 598 plus 516. Number three, 594 plus 791. Number four, 474 plus 425. Number five, 461 plus 929. Number six, 950 plus 977. Number seven, 696 plus 749. Number eight, and the last one, 366 plus 224. And that would be our mental calculation from today. If you don't have enough time to answer the operations, remember that you can pause the video and then answer your operation. Then listen to the next operation, pause the video and answer it, okay? But you must try to do it on your mind, 
Now, let's go what we're gonna do today. Today, we're going to work in two sections as almost always we do. We're going to work on phonology and global citizenship, okay? So, let's go to, maybe you will see here that we're skipping a number, a page, 25, but it's not a mistake because this page is for the dictation from Tuesday, okay? So, let's go to our book. We are going to start with phonology on page 22. Give me a second to show you the book. There you go. Okay, it says, you can do it. Write the words from the list using the code. We have a code to the alphabet for each letter from the alphabet. So, as you can see, the A, had the, the code or the key for letter A, it's number one. For letter B, is number two. For C, is three. And that's, and that's how it goes. And the thing that you gotta do on this page, it's to solve the, the words that has writing in, that have been writing in key, in code, okay? Uh, I will help you with the first one, with this one, okay? Give me a second so I can show you how I did. You need to look what word is for number 10, I'm sorry, what letter is for number 10, what letter is for letter A, and what letter is for 23. And you must think or look for the answer, and I will look for my presentation, okay? Give me a second. Okay, we already see this, and there's a page. Okay, on page 22, you can do it. Let's see if you have the correct answers. Well, we have these numbers to solve, and what was the letter for, num for, for number 10? And what was the letter for number one? And what was the letter for 23? Well, the answers E, R, J, A, and W. <clears throat> and that makes the word jaw. What is a jaw? Who can tell me what it's a jaw? Do you know Camila Bejarano, Emmy, Armando? Can you help me? Well, I will tell you. A Joe, it's a part of the body from almost the most animals and from humans too. It's this part. You have an arrow here indicate you where is the jaw. This is the jaw. A human job, okay? Now, let's go to our book again. Okay. Here we are on page 22. So, we already know that the first code means job. You need to solve the other five words by yourself using the same uh, dynamic. You will look for the number and then you will put the letter here. For example, 14 is N, 1 is A, 18 is R, and you will keep doing like that, okay? Now, write the corresponding code for each word. It's the same, but now you are going to do a forward. Now, letter A, it's number one. Letter M, it's 13, so you will write here. One, and then 13, and then another one, because it's letter A. Letter Z, it's 26, and you will keep doing like that, okay? Now, let's go to page 23. Using your words, complete the sentence using the words from the list. We have 12 sentences that you will answer with these 12 
words that you will uh, decodify, okay? You will choose the better, the best word for each sentence. It must make sense. If you don't know what a word means, you can look on your dictionary or if you have, or if you want on the dictionary from Google, but not with the translation, not with the traductor, just with the dictionary. Let's go to page 24. I was telling you that we were not doing this page 25. We are going to save this page until Tuesday when I make you the dictation, okay? And 24 is the one that you're gonna do. Your parents need to dictate you. If your parents can do it, you can go to the other videos and listen to the track and I will, and you, you will listen to the track and write the words while you're listening, okay? Uh, well, that's all from this page and page 25, you will leave it until Tuesday and let's go to page 27. We are going to listen to the track, but first we need to, we need to read the instructions. Listen to the coach talking to his players, then fill in the blanks in the sentence with information from the conversation. Use the words from the word bank. Okay, no, there are extra words that you will not use. We only have five sentences, okay? And we have like 10 words here. So you are not going to use all the words. It, that is, that's because it's important to listen to the track. Take care. Listening comprehension. Listen to the coach talking to his players. Then fill in the blanks in the sentences with information from the conversation. Use the words from the word bank. Note, there are extra words that you will not use. Great job today, guys. Thomas, I want you to remember to work on controlling the ball better. Don't let it get away from you. Right, my hands are getting stronger with the exercises you told me to do. Good, I have noticed a difference. Keep it up. William, are you practicing that footwork at home? Yes, coach. My mom is helping me. She was a dancer in college. She's giving me good tips. That's great. Maybe she will be willing to come work with the team sometime. I think she would like that. I will ask her tonight. Cool. Let me know what she says at Tuesday's practice. I will, coach. Boys, I need you to let me know how far you are running each night. Be sure to turn in your workout logs. Remember that it is an important part of your training to keep your heart healthy. Make sure you are choosing healthy foods and getting enough rest each night. Yes, coach. Again, Good job, boys. We will see each other at Brewster Field for next week's practice. If you need to listen again the information to complete the sentence, you can do it again and again. Uh, all the times that you need. Okay, next, next activity from the page. Now, ah, sorry. Now, choose one word from the word bank you didn't use. Use it in a sentence about the conversation. You don't gonna, you don't gonna invent just a sentence. You must write the sentence with the same topic of the conversation, okay? Now let's go to page 27. Take care speaking. Let's listen to the track and then says, look around the room. What are your classmates doing? I know that we are not at the classroom and you cannot see what are your classmates doing, but you can watch on your home what is doing the people who is with you, okay? And you will answer this on the extra pages from your book, okay? And that you can, that's the activity that you're gonna do from this page. Now let's listen to the track. Take care. 
speaking. Great job today, guys. Thomas, I want you to remember to work on controlling the ball better. Don't let it get away from you. Right. My hands are getting stronger with the exercises you told me to do. Good. I have noticed the difference. Keep it up. William, are you practicing that footwork at home? Yes, coach. My mom is helping me. She was a dancer in college. She's giving me good tips. That's great. Maybe she will be willing to come work with the team sometime. I think she would like that. I will ask her tonight. Cool. Let me know what she says at Tuesday's practice. I will, coach. Boys, I need you to let me know how far you are running each night. Be sure to turn in your workout logs. Remember that it is an important part of your training to keep your heart healthy. Make sure you are choosing healthy foods and getting enough rest each night. Yes, coach. Again, good job, boys. We will see each other at Brewster Field for next week's practice. There you go. Now, on the second activity from this page, you're supposed to speak with your partners, but as you are not able to do this, you will write on the extra pages the similarities and differences in each of these pictures, okay? What is similar on this and this? Well, they are working by teams, for example. And in these, where they are on vacations. What is the difference? They are in an office and they are like a, in a construction or something like that, okay? And that will be the all pages from phonology. Now, remember that we are going to work on Global Citizenship too. Now, give me a second to share you the pages. It's going to be page 109 and 110. Okay, there you go. Now, we are now on page 109 from Global Citizenship. Forms of government. Draw a picture and write a sentence to describe the leader of each type of government. <coughs> I'm sorry. The last time we work on global citizenship, we talk about the different forms or of government. We watch a video and we have some um, definitions here on page. 105 okay on this page you will find the definitions from each kind of government if you don't remember them and you will be able to make the drawing of each of each picture and the describing okay you need to describe with your own words don't copy please the definitions from the other page use your own words now let's go to page 110 how are leaders chosen? Think about the following question. How are leaders chosen? These can be leaders of a country, a community, a soccer team, or even a school. Use the sentence starters below to help you think about the questions. For example, the leader of my country was chosen by, well, by, was chosen by the citizen, by the citizens, okay? Uh, when you grow up and you are old enough to vote, you will be able to choose your leaders, the leaders from the country. And how are you going to do that? Well, you are going to vote. How, you gonna, how can you vote? Well, it's one year. Here in Mexico is one year every six years. In USA, it's one day every four years. The, we, can, we can choose our leaders. And how can we vote? Well, on this day, we go and in a little paper, we make a cross and choose our favorite. And then they count all the votes and say who wants. 
Um, to make this more clear, I will show you a video. Give me a second. Hi, boys and girls. Do you know what it means to vote? When people vote, they make an important choice. What if your family couldn't decide what to eat for dinner? What could you do? Take a vote to choose a dish. What if your basketball team needs a new captain? What could you do? Take a vote. As a citizen, voting is very important. Grown-ups who are 18 and older vote when it is time to choose new leaders for a community. This could be the mayor of a city or the governor of a state. Citizens even vote for the president of the United States. Let's see what happens when people vote. On election day, citizens go to a special place like a library or a school gym to vote for leaders in their community. Inside, there are many voting booths. These booths help people keep their votes private. Voters select their choices on a ballot and put it in the ballot box. Some voting booths have special computers instead of ballot boxes. After all the votes have been counted, a new leader is chosen. Let's review. When people vote, they make important choices. Citizens vote for leaders such as mayors, governors, and presidents. Election day is a special day for voting. Voters select their choices on a ballot and place it in a ballot box. The votes are counted and a new leader is chosen. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Well, that's the video and I hope that it's more clear to you <clears throat> how does this, how does these people eat, choose, get choose. Now, let's go to our book again. Let's go to work and page 110. Okay, there you go. Now, we were answering these questions and says the leader of my sports activity team was chosen by the team. Okay, the people who is in the team, the students who are in the team. The leaders of my school were chosen by well, the group of people who manage the school. The best way to choose a leader is voting because it's the most fair. The words vote make me think of how leaders are chosen. Example, voting. And uh, now make a mind map with the following topic, topic in the middle. Write the words to describe what you know or think about. How are leaders chosen? Well, we already watched the video that I played you and now you must be able to answer this, okay? You can draw the pictures or you can write just words, not complete ideas, okay? Just words or topics with some drawing. And that will be the all activities from today. So it's Friday, enjoy your weekend, stay healthy, um, some, do something new, try something new with your family, and I see you on Monday. Bye, guys.